So former New Jersey governor and former advisor to you know who, Chris Christie. <laughs> Apparently, he's gonna be here on Thursday. I think you have a record, Whoopi, that you never said his name in all these years. I said it, I stumbled once. One time, <laughs> yeah. Just one time. I stumbled once. I mean, once. It's, it's a badge of honor. I For me, it is. For me, it is. <laughs> I, I, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I'm aware it's rude. I'm aware. <laughs> so you don't have to write me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I interrupted you. No, that's okay. okay. Uh, but he sat down with, uh, not, you know who, but uh, Chris Christie sat down with George Stephanopoulos and offered this campaign strategy to Democrats. Really? <laughs> Take a look. If you're running the campaign now to prevent Donald Trump from becoming president in 2024, what do you do? Replace Joe Biden. I just think that Joe Biden is probably the only major Democrat who Donald Trump could beat. And I think that if President... And Donald Trump may be the only Republican who Joe Biden can be. Exactly right. And, you know, I, I've known Joe Biden for 40 years. I, I like President Biden personally, always have. But, you know, past the sell-by date. You know what? Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah. First of all, <laughs> what are you talking about? He did... He kicked butt... A couple of days ago. South Carolina. He did better than you know who did. Yeah. Okay? So it's not, you know, nobody knows what's coming, but you know, you can't tell Democrats to get. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have the you same take it. I okay, I have the okay. same thought. You know, I do not like when Republicans tell Democrats what they need to do in their house. Um, Especially coming from Chris Christie, who was, uh, you know who's, transition advisor. So he knew he was unfit to govern when he was doing that. He also knew that he got COVID from Donald Trump and ended up in the ICU and almost died. And the last thing that I will say about it is that why don't Republicans sweep their own Trump trash first? Well, he does. In well, their he... house, Chris and Christie then give has... Democrats advice. But, 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 but to his credit, Chris Christie has been sweeping yeah. a lot of dirt about, about but... the Republicans. And, you know, I like Chris Christie, but yeah. why go, I don't on, understand why that, go on TV and say somebody else without naming? Who's who? That's F what I mean. FTR, he's dead, okay? <laughs> Uh, you know, the good ones are all gone. Yeah. Well, the, the bigger problem, too, because I actually agree with him, I think a generic Democrat would do like better who? against Trump. Give me Trump. a name. To throw, I mean, uh, Gretchen Whitmer, like, any, honestly, any kidding? Kidding? No, 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 no. no. Here, here's my take on this. Yeah. I disagree with you here, Sonny, because you guys ask me all the time, well, you can't support Trump. I will not support Trump, but why aren't you just backing Biden? I'm worried Biden's going to lose to Trump. I don't feel like, not if, I don't think like that we're recognizing, don't, don't vote I don't think him. that we're recognizing in 2020 when he beat Donald Trump, a potato could have beat Donald Trump. We were in a global pandemic. The economy was <laughs> no, in free fall. Uh, but you know what? It, a potato could not have beat him. Millions of because, people voted. And I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Because the one thing that Joe Biden knows is he knows how to run the government. He knows this. Yeah. And there was nobody else in the pike. But and and to come out and say, you know, get another candidate, you were... When? Well, and to be honest, yeah. I, it's not going to happen. No, I just, so, why, so why, why even start I that conversation? I don't think people understand how frustrated Americans are right now, and rightly or wrongly, that falls at the feet of the commander-in-chief. If they feel like the country is not going a better direction, if they... The economy is unarguably doing better, but people aren't feeling the impact yet. I'm just telling you, I don't want to wake up on election day and Donald Trump won because of Joe Biden's ego and they couldn't step aside and say we need another you know, wait, 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 let me push no, back No, 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 don't, don't. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Well, the reason I say it is I actually don't think uh, President Biden running is his ego. I actually believe deep, deep down he sees Donald Trump coming and knows he's done it once and he's going to do it again. I, I, For me, knowing him, it's a gut feeling. I feel it's a little more yeah. selfless than yeah. selfish. But you're not alone and uh, Chris Christie's not alone in saying that people aren't thrilled with the candidate candidates but the problem is there is a, when he says a strong democrat or someone he doesn't name anyone yeah, and there like, aren't good names. but there's, there's no one right, right on you guys are right you have vice good. president harris who doesn't have great approval ratings gavin newsom who's associated with the most liberal state in the country and although he has a good political future he needs to separate and have some recognition if 
I, I say go back to John Tester from Montana. He, that's actually what Is it a Montana good. or Wyoming? One of He's those. He's Montana. <laughs> that actually... <laughs> Which is my point. Name, Name ID might be an issue. And, and there isn't <laughs> but he, 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 he looks like a Republican, so that's what there, I'm saying. There isn't going he to does. be another candidate. No. Yeah. The candidate is Joe Biden. Yeah. He so has suck run it up. this country well. He has so much to run on. He's got better economy. Inflation, inflation is down. Um, people, uh, job growth, more job growth than any other president in the past couple of decades. His infrastructure bill. The infrastructure bill. Wait a job. So he has a platform to run on. The Republicans have zero Nothing. to run on. Nothing. And the best candidate that the Republicans could come up with is Donald Trump. It's so the, again, a, Republicans a do not sell it. You, you, you Democrats could, advice. But just to have a fair, open conversation, what Alyssa's bringing to this table is something you see all over the... People are talking about this. This isn't a fringe okay. idea. There was a Quin Quinnipiac poll that just had uh, uh, Biden Beating Trump in the right. 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 ratings another, are thirty-seven. There is another guys, poll that has him losing in every single battleground state. There are poll, listen, by, the polls. The polls, the polls are polls meant to do exactly <laughs> what they're doing. Here's the bottom line: they're going to decide. We're not going to decide. But, but I, and and as one of them, as an American, I remember what DT did to this country. Yeah. I remember what he did. I remember how he meant. <laughs> People, how he made people feel. And I don't want that for anybody else. I don't want women feeling like that. I don't want men feeling like that. Yeah. So oh, when you sad. say there are a lot of people, there may be a lot of people, but I guarantee you, when, the, when those curtains open and the, ballads are, I, and the ballads are counted, then we can have a really good discussion. But it's not going to change. It is Joe Biden, and it's who it's... It is Joe Biden. And, 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 and I, the only him. president in my lifetime, anyway, and I think it's even before my lifetime, uh, who gave up the second term was LBJ. Well, I don't just, think any president I, has only, ever said, I'm not going to run the second term. The only so thing don't I don't expect Biden to do to that. To underscore here, none of us want Donald Trump to be president no. again. It scares me, the Agreed. idea of him being president again, I don't want us to be naive to how strong Donald Trump is. This man has then high vote life. For Biden. People tone, turn a blind yeah, eye to a lot of things. Like this. You but and Liz the, Cheney, the all public, the rest of you never trust To the if we pretend every day that Joe Biden is strong when every metric tells us that he's not performing well and he's less popular well, that's, than Jimmy those Carter, are the that's those a are problem. The, the realities, however, are kids are paying less. Young people are paying less money out to school. Student I'm very happy today. about that. Listen, what you Young people what can't you, buy homes in this economy. It's well, not but Joe Biden's listen, fault. I, listen, I'm sorry. Votes. When I started out, I couldn't buy a home either. Me either. You have to work your way. I'm sorry. I was that 50. Is not, 50. You know, that is, that is not the first thing that happens right. when you come out. You got to go out and get a job. This is how you break it down. Y'all, I know you're young, <laughs> but here's what it is. You work. And you can afford a house, and you go and get one. You're living in New York City. Can't nobody afford to live? No, I didn't mean me specifically. <laughs> I work on the show, but like.